Is there any significance of a reoccurring dream living in her childhood home? She's drugged probably four times. Yes. Yes. Childhood homes represent your generational bloodline. Childhood homes represent your generational bloodline and also soul wounds from your childhood. Very clearly, that's what that means. So if you're having reoccurring dreams about your childhood home, and uh, two things the Lord is saying to you, get your generational bloodline cleansed and get all the curses removed off your generational bloodline and get all your soul wounds healed from your childhood. And we have two ways to do that, okay? You can go to my website, annamariestrohan.com and go into the courts of heaven to repent for your generational bloodline going all the way back to Adam and Eve. Repent for the sins of your generational bloodline to get all the curses removed. Okay, and you can also go to my website and to my prayer list, okay, and uh, do my soul cleansing prayer to heal any soul wounds, trauma, uh, you know, rejection, uh, maybe anything that happened in that home, uh, get that healed and get it healed off your soul, okay? Now, Childhood home dream memories could also represent um, that there's something uh, from your childhood that you are still either uh, grieving or the Lord wants to pinpoint to you that you need to pay attention to, okay? Uh, a lot of times he will point you back to your childhood home in a dream to say, okay, I am telling you to pray and deal with that and get your soul healed. Uh, ask me, King Jesus, to go and redeem that time. Okay? All right? So it's it's a time to, to pray. It's a time to get your soul healed of uh, those days from your childhood. Maybe there's something uh, from the childhood home. Because I know there's been some dreams that I've had uh, in my childhood home where the Lord is saying, forgive someone or something that happened during that time. He's bringing you back to that time where something needs to be forgiven, something needs to be dealt with, okay? Um, he might be showing you something there that, so seek the Holy Spirit deeper. I would, number one, get your generational bloodline cleansed, repented, and get the curses removed. Because, you know, family homes, childhood homes, and dreams, that's almost every time that's what that means. Okay. And it also means your souls. There are soul wounds or things that need to be dealt with, healed, forgiven from your childhood. And there could be also something the Holy Spirit is showing you, a childhood memory to forgive someone or forgive something, or there's something that the Holy Spirit showed you as a child that he wants to remind you of. A lot of times when people journal, do you journal, Kathy? A lot of times when people journal, the Holy Spirit will speak to you through that journal. So we should write down our dreams, right? Get a journal. We got these really beautiful journals on my website that say all of heaven are cheering your honor. Just so go get a notebook from the dollar store, all right? And this is how I always have everybody start journaling. You should say, Father God, and write it down. I'm asking you to remind me Five times in my life, even going back to my childhood, when you were there. And you're going to number it one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to leave space. And you're going to lift it up to the Lord, and you're going to wait. And the Holy Spirit is going to start speaking to you. And he's going to tell you to start writing down, and he's going to remind you the five times in your life, even going back to your childhood, when God was there. And this will help heal your soul too. Even if you went through some trauma or you went through something, the Lord's reminding you he was there. So I'm discerning you need to start journaling or maybe do this type of journaling, you know, where you ask Father God, you know, five times that he was there in your childhood. Get your soul healed from your childhood. Get generational bloodline curses healed and cleansed. And we have all that on my website, annamarstrawhand.com.
You're about to get totally and completely redeemed. Hallelujah.